Well, tonight, the CDC is warning that a drug resistant and potentially deadly fungus appears to be spreading at an alarming rate in U.S. healthcare facilities. It doesn't usually make healthy people sick, but the fungus can cause severe illness in people with weakened immune systems. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what it is and where it's exactly being found, Frank. Well, Kim and Karen, because it's a fungus, I guess I should make it clear this is not an episode of The Last of Us, but this fungus is being considered an urgent threat by the CDC. It's called Candida auris, and its rapid rise in the geographic spread of cases is what's causing concern. Cases of Candida auris were initially clustered in New York and Chicago, but as this map shows, they are now being reported in more than half of U.S. states, including Michigan. Candida auris is a type of yeast that can enter the bloodstream of high-risk patients and spread throughout the body, causing serious infections. A new report finds cases have increased each year, rising from 53 in 2016 to 330 in 2018, and then skyrocketing from 476 in 2019 to 1,471 in 2021. The fungus is more likely to affect people who have serious medical problems, weakened immune systems, and people with medical devices going into their bodies, like breathing tubes or catheters. Candida auris often does not respond to multiple antifungal drugs and it spreads easily throughout healthcare facilities. This is an incredibly sticky, tenacious bug. Able to worm its way into every imaginable spot in a hospital room. From the ceiling to the wall monitors to the artificial respirators to the pumps to the bed to the floors. Hospitals have found the best way to stop the fungus is to kill it with bleach and UV light. But the fungus can be carried on people's skin without causing symptoms, making it easy to transport out or in. 72% fatality rate in people with invasive infections. And researchers say the pandemic may have also exacerbated the spread of this fungus due to the strain on health care and, of course, public health systems. What about climate change? Does it play a role in this? Well, so fungus basically is sensitive to changes in climate. Yeah. So persistently warmer temperatures in higher latitudes can expand where fungi are found, and they may ultimately increase their ability to survive at higher temperatures, including our body temperature. Now, some scientists actually theorize that may be a factor in the rapid rise of this particular fungus. Interesting. Yeah. All right.